Hello everybody, this is Rashford Thal and welcome. Today I'm talking about uh, one of the classics from Delon, which is actually quite a bit underrated. And um, I'm sorry if the audio isn't as it normally is. Uh, it's just because I'm on a trip and I'm in Vancouver at the moment, as you can probably see the water behind the boat. Uh, but um, I forgot to bring the mic and the tripod, so I'm improvising here on top of a cardboard box. <laughs> but um, I hope the audio is okay. Um, so, as I was saying, this is unfortunately quite underrated perfume from Gala. It's one of the classics uh, from, let me check here the website, from 1965. Uh, and this was created by Jean-Paul Guerlain for his fiancée, according to Guerlain. Um, so this is Chant de Rome, which means um, chant, you know, song of aromas, of smells. Um, let me spray and let me go a little bit deeper into what it is. This is, um, mm, it's, it's beautiful. It really is quite beautiful. It's very classic in terms of aldehydes. You know, I don't think aldehyde, it's a note that is listed in here, but I definitely feel a lot of it. But um, the first spray, the first burst, it's very green and light and citrus. But at the same time, it has a, a backbone of also something green and dark, which would be the oak moss, which is listed as one of the notes in this perfume. And it's very clean. It's, it's The aldehydes here give this feeling of, you know, the classic feeling of cleanliness, of, of you no know, um, prolonged shower feeling. And it's very predominant here. And if you get your nose super close, it can it can be it can have that screechy, you know, super sharp um, feeling. But if you don't get you know too close to it and just let it, you know, it smell from a little bit of a distance, or even smell it in the air, you are able to detect. The flowers also there's a lot of flowers in this perfume apparently there are no no less than 55 ingredients this perfume uh, in this perfume this is the most recent concentration i have and it's an eau de toilette um it, this is not a very old bottle i would say five months the max and my husband and i have worn, have worn this already <laughs> this much so we really love this perfume so what does it smell like? It smells very much um, in the same category as Liu, which is from Gala, I've talked about before. And, you know, you, some people can also say that it can go in the category of Chanel number no. 5. And yes, I totally agree with it. Does it smell like number no. 5? No. But it does have um, that feeling that is shared with number five and Leo because of the aldehydes. This is much lighter than the other two I just mentioned, much lighter than Leo and number five, um, but it's not weak, it's not pleading, it's the profile itself, it's, it's, you know, it's supposed to be a chant, um, something delicate that it's, you know, it's, it's expressed in in this beautiful way as a song so this is what Garland says on their own website the scent of young love Chandarom is part of Garland's patrimony collection a collection made of emblematic fragrances composed for more than a century by five generations of perfumers these mythical pioneer perfumers composed a unique effective library that the Maison Garland endeavors to preserve 
Created in 1965 by Jean-Paul Galland for his young fiancé, Shundarum signifies the language of flowers, each of which carries its own meaning of love. Shundarum is a charming spring bouquet, filled with innuendo. Its hint, its trails hints at fire beneath the eyes. Yes, and then you're able to start detecting the, the flowers, but it's all very subtle, still very surrounded by this this very powerful aldehyde and the green feeling. There's oak moss here, and Galen does mention oak moss on the very same page. If you scroll down a little, it says undergrowth notes harvested in France. Galen's moss is first processed into a concrete before being transformed into an absolute. Tree moss absolute brings a woody and earthy note to perfume, 100%. So the moss, it's what gives this, you know, this earthy, this dark, um, um, you know, touch quality to this perfume. So it prevents it from being too light, too fleeting. So stunning. It's it's a really really beautiful perfume. Unfortunately, very um, much. Um, underrated. It's not really talked about much at all. I haven't, I haven't really seen much, many people talking about this perfume at all. So my, my, what I have to say to you, I guess, is if you are into classical perfumes such as Chanel Number no. Five, Liu, Vega from Yana, which is another stunning perfume, um, I highly recommend trying this because it's it's a very green. Um, slightly you know delicate floral aldehydes kind of perfume that goes into the same line as number five and it was mentioned before so if you are into those please try it because uh, i don't think you will be disappointed this is quite beautiful so thank you for your time i really appreciate it i hope you have a wonderful morning afternoon day evening night wherever you are in the world and the world does need more beauty lovers bye